Hi everyone, I'm Ravatine. <coughs> Welcome to my channel, Africa Every Day. Today I'll be talking about mosquitoes, one of the menaces of the world. In your own part of the world, mosquitoes may just be a nuisance, kind of thing that makes you angry. But in this part of the world, in Africa, precisely in Nigeria, it is actually an assassin. An assassin that doesn't take money, but only takes blood from you and kills you. According to World Health Organization, 92% of cases of malaria all over the world happens in Africa. To tell you how deadly it is, some of you may not be aware of that, and some of you may actually be aware of that. Now, according to World Health Organization also, every two minutes, at least a child dies of malaria. And I'm very sure there's a very high chance that that is also in Africa. So what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that malaria is a huge killer in Africa. So, and that is why I'm so happy, I'm so pleased. When Mr. Mike, my mentor, my benefactor, my producer, and also my friend, when decided to send me a machine. I don't even know how to call this. I've not actually, I've not opened it. It's a device that kills mosquitoes. So, I'm very, very elated and I'm very, very happy for that. So I decided to make a video about mosquitoes because some of you have not really left the country so you don't actually know the kind of problems that uh, we're actually facing in Africa here. That's is what it's all about. Remember, my video is all about showing what is happening in Africa, precisely in Nigeria, to, uh, to people living in another continent so that they can see from the perspective of an African, precisely from the perspective of a Nigerian. I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, okay. I'm not going to go into the uh, scientific details about mosquitoes. I don't know. I'll be jumping directly into our environment. Uh, according to the science, why malaria? Mosquitoes is actually uh, a deadly something here. One of the reasons from what I read is that uh, mosquitoes, they like warm climate. And Africa, precisely West Africa actually gives that. Nigeria is a warm country, so as a result, it is easy for mosquitoes to thrive and feed on us. So, uh, having put that aside, I'm going to talk about ways, traditional ways in which we fight mosquitoes in Africa. Let me first start with the one that, were, that actually grew. The method that mom used to ward off mosquitoes in our room back then. That is use, the use of mosquito coil. I actually grew up with it. In fact, I'm so used to this that uh, it doesn't even affect me anymore. Some people, they tell, uh, some Nigerians, when you ask, they tell you that it makes them to cough. It uh, it stings their eyes or something like that, so they can actually use it. But for me, I'm 100% used to this. So, you might be wondering, what man have said this before? You said this for the first time. You might be wondering, how do you use this? Isn't it? How do you use this? And once again, I'm very, very sorry for the background noise. All right, so this is how we use this. This is a mosquito coil, and this is the most popular company that we have here in Nigeria that sells this mosquito coil. Actually, I didn't grow up with this. This is actually is a new company that, uh, that sells a mosquito coil in Nigeria, but they actually they are becoming popular. But in the, mo in the moment, I'm going to tell you the problem that we're actually facing with this as of moment. All right, now to use this now, this actually broke out of this. So this is supposed to be a hole like this, all right? So we take this, this panel, it's called stand, all right? So you put it in the hole and we have this. So the next thing is to light up the, the tip and start burning. A full coil will burn for at least seven, for at least seven hours. And that is enough for a night's sleep, a full night's sleep. Okay, this is how I grew up. And I've actually been using this with my daughter too. But the problem with this is that the market has been flooded with fake of this. Fake all over the place. The next time, this is not actually working again. When you buy it, you don't even know if you are using the original one or the fake one. And that's the main problem with this. So, when people are not actually buying this again. Fake all over the place. All right. And let me show you the exact way that this is used. You can see that? Oh, that is the ash. You put it like this, and it start burning. You can see that. 
All right, so another method that we use to fight off mosquitoes to protect ourselves from malaria is actually through the use of mosquito nets that was brought from that was brought by United Nations. Actually, there was a time that this was actually this was given for free. This to give this for free back then, but now it is actually so. I think this one is actually sold for one thousand eight hundred naira. That is the amount this is sold for. So you buy this and you hang it on your bed. Before you can before you can use this. You have to air dry it for 24 hours so you can actually use this. These two that I just showed you now, they're actually relatively modern method of fighting of malaria. Now let me now show you a traditional one of fighting of malaria, the cheapest way of fighting of malaria that we used to do in, uh, in Nigeria, and that is the use of orange peel. This is orange peel, and a lot of orange peel will now be gathered. Be gathered. Now, an old pot, maybe an old pot or any metal container. You look for a metal container, you now perforate the bottom of the metal container. You perforate, you create some holes underneath the container. Then you look for some charcoals. You look for burning charcoals, amber. You look for amber, you put the amber on the, in the, uh, inside the pot, then you now place the peel on it. So that the ember will start burning the peel, so it will not be creating smoke. That smoke actually ward off malaria. As I've seen a lot of people using this, uh, but the reason why I don't actually use it is because of the film, I'm not actually used to the to the smoke. It used to choke me, so I've never used it. But I've seen a lot of people using it, and they tell me that it actually works perfectly. Yes. So this is the cheapest way that we should ward off malaria in Nigeria. The cheapest way. Now, to visit the gift that was sent to me by Mr. Mike now, I'll now be unveiling this. The gift that was sent to me by Mr. Mike. Actually, I've never seen this before. Though I've read about it, but I've never seen it before. So, I'm going to unveil it. Then, I'll read the instructions. Then, I'll try it. Tonight, I'll try it. Then, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll continue the video and share the result and tell you if it actually works or not. All right. So let's hear this. And special thanks to Mr. Mike Atomic Stream for sending me this gift. I'm very, very thankful. And also to my patrons. All right. So we have this. This is Mosquito Killer. You can see that USB Mosquito Killer. All right, okay. Now to open this now. So, okay. Nothing else. Empty. Okay. I think we should look at the body first. What we have here is it there? Yes. We have a. Uh, Bionic, we have bionic trapping, we have strong suction, we have whisper, we have prevent escape, two way air duct. I don't actually know how this works, but I believe I'm going to find out. All right, so we have the label. This is the label, this is from China. Power mode USB power supply when mosquito is when the mosquito is turned on <laughs> when the mosquito is turned on I hope they they realize the mistake and fix it. Killing produce notes, killing this when to recommend the person that probably leave the scene. Okay. Mosquito killer at a height of 1.5 to 2 meters from the ground. The effort generated the mention forms of circulation in the room. The mosquito receives the attraction light and air flow of the mosquitoes, gathers around the mosquito lab and continuously enter the body, dry and die. When you send this message, it is recommended that the personnel temporarily leave the scene. The carbon dioxide released by the human body and the skin is more, much more attractive to mosquitoes than others. Okay. It's like, uh, according to the manufacturer of this machine, the carbon dioxide air exhumed, given out by the humans, is more attractive 
than uh, force of attraction that this used to attract the mosquitoes. Okay, that means they will have to put this in the room before for some minutes or some hours before coming into the room. Okay. Please use it for three days to five days for the first time. Please use the door and window to keep the environment dark during the day to keep the mosquitoes in the bedroom. When you go to sleep, move to the living room, the bathroom and the kitchen to kill mosquitoes because there are more mosquitoes in this place to prevent flying. All right. Okay, bubble wrap. When I was a kid, I loved opening the, you know, you know, <laughs> yeah, nostalgia. It's like, uh, all right, let's put that aside. Okay. All right, so I'm actually going to test this. I have, luckily I have a power bank. This Nigerian, there's no stable power supply, but luckily I have a power bank, so I'll be using it with my power bank here. It's, I think it's on. It's on, and I believe is working. Okay, there's a fan. I can I can see a fan there. All right. I don't know. Do I need to press anything? Yes, I think I'm supposed to open this. Okay, I think that's the yes, the uh, compartment where the mosquitoes will be drawn in. Yes, I think so. All right, let me close this. Okay, once it's night, I'm going to try this out and see if it actually works or not. I'll get back to you guys. All right, now. <clears throat> I want to plug I want to plug it to a power bank again. This power bank is actually working fine. So the output of this power bank is 10 watts. So that should be more than enough to power this. More than enough. But only the light is on. The fan is not actually spinning. When you look at it closely, you can see even the fan is dislodged. You can see that? It looks as if the fan is not actually attached. It's not working. So the next thing is to open it up now. So I want to open it up and see what is actually going on inside it. I've already removed one screw. Once again, I'm terribly sorry for the background noise. This is Nigerian. Noise is seen as part of our lives. You can't complain. Besides, they don't have any other option than to use the narrator to work. So. I can't feel any screw here. I don't know if there is a screw there or not. I can't even see. Luckily, my, my power bank has a touch light, so. Almost everything here in Nigeria has touch light, why? Because our power is not stable, epileptic power supply. So, okay, I can see that there's no screw inside, no screw inside. That means I have to find a way to to separate this. Okay, I think it's coming. Do I have to do anything here? I don't know. Can you see that? Look at the fan. It's not attached. I don't know. How is this even attached? What is happening? Okay, 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 okay. I can see it. There is actually, I'm supposed to remove a screw here. There's actually a screw there. But I'm supposed to remove. All right, it's opened up. 
Look at that. Can you see that? Okay, I need to remove this. Look at the fan. Okay, I think it's attached. It's attached. But very loosely. I don't know how this will work. I want to connect it to the power bank and see if it works. Why it's not working, I have no idea. Is there any disconnected wire? All the wires are connected. So the reason why it's not working, I have no idea. I don't want to use the wire to pull it because the wire may break. So I need to look for a way to push it outside. Okay, it works. You can see that all the wires are rightly connected. All the wires. So that means it's a shoddy product. A shoddy product. China, 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 China. This is not good for your economy at all. I don't know the exact reason. Everything is rightly connected, as you can see here, rightly connected. So why is not working? I have no idea. China, you are wasting people's money with a shoddy product. This is not good enough. I just wish Mr. Mike's money could be refunded to him. This is not good enough. Hi there, Mike from Atomic Shrimp here. Well, what a disappointment. Uh, what a shame and what a waste of our money. But fortunately, it wasn't very expensive and I suppose that's probably a reason why we shouldn't have set our hopes too high for that thing even working. I am disappointed that it got there broken, although I don't honestly think that broke in transit. The fan inside there is just one of these little, it's almost like a PC cooling fan, probably a 5 volt model, this one's not 5 volts, but something like this. And whilst these things are a piece of precision engineering, they're not that delicate. So for that to have come apart in transit, it would have taken a very significant knock, which should have damaged the packaging. So I tend to think that that was probably broken from the factory, probably left the factory in several pieces. So I think in general, this product is an example of what they call direct to landfill. But let's not be deterred by this. Let's see if we can forge ahead and do something else. So question for the audience is, what do we do next? Have you got any recommendations for effective electronic mosquito killers? Please let us know in the comments, link the product if you can, and we'll see if we can get something that's better and more effective out to Babaton Day for control of mosquitoes. Because as he said in the video, whereas mosquitoes for me here in Northern Europe are just an annoyance, I get bitten by a mosquito, I get an itchy bump for a few days. Mosquitoes in Africa are a deadly threat. They are actually the most deadly animal on the planet, as it happens, more deadly than tigers, crocodiles, and so on. So let's see if we can find a better product. It's not worth returning that one from Nigeria. It would cost more to return than the value of the refund. So let's write that off to experience. Forge ahead, see if we can find something better. Your recommendations as a viewer are most welcomed. So sorry about that, Baba Tunde. We'll try again. Let's see if anybody in the comments has got some suggestions for what we can do better next time. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. And now uh, for your support, I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much. And uh, you've been wonderful in my life. All my patrons. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I did to deserve you guys, but you've been wonderful in my life. And I'm very, very grateful for that. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. And uh, if you still want to become my patrons, you'll see the link in the uh, video description below. And if you don't want to become my patron for now, you can also contribute to my GoFundMe. Contributing to that helps me and also help some people about some people in my community. So you're not actually helping me alone. I'm actually helping some people in my community. Thank you very much. See you next time.